Hallelujah and uh, praise the Lord. Uh, we thank God for giving us an opportunity to minister to us. We are so grateful that God has, you know, continued uh, to give us life. You know, give us life in abundance. So we are able to minister to us uh, by the grace of God. Now, today, uh, as one of the voices in the continent of Africa, I want to say some few things as the Lord has dropped them in my spirit and I, I believe I believe I believe uh, from this um, we are going as the intercessors we are going to be in a position uh, to study well because uh, many other times you know we we are making a lot of noise and I wouldn't want any one of us to be found on the long side of God because uh, for sure it is a new day it is a new day so I have come on board to speak to the continent of Africa and I just want to lead through what the Lord has put in my spirit for the continent uh, so that we can know what is happening and what we are expecting what we are expecting from now now africa is not a dark continent and some of the civil war we have been encountering some of the you know of the of the issues that we have been encountering as africans is because we are looking for help where it cannot come for we are trying to you know to 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 to, to get help where it's, it's not available for us so now the lord they say I, I just want to lead through. I want to lead through the, what I have heard in the Lord uh, for the continent of Africa. And uh, I, I believe the Lord is going to minister to us by His grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm saying I'm saying this with much humility as one of the prophets in the continent, one of the voices of God in the continent with a lot of humility by the grace of God. So the, uh, the Lord is speaking to us and saying, on the 16th day of July 2021, the Lord is saying it is time for God to fix his order, to fix his order by his own divine agenda in the continent. It is time for God to fix his own order and he's going to do it by his own divine you know, formulas or he's going to do this by his own divine agenda. So God has come forth uh, to fulfill his purposes concerning the continent by the grace of god in the name of jesus hallelujah sorry now there are some people or some individuals who think they are entitled to uh to ownership um in, in some nations you know there are people who think uh because of their contribution maybe uh during um uh you know during the colonialism they think some families think they are entitled to owning uh some of these countries uh in africa due to some ancient uh propagandas that is what i had in the spirit that has caused much injustices in africa as a continent you know there are some people who think they are entitled to something in a nation because maybe their family lineage did one two three things i want the nation of africa to know any freedom that god gave to any country in africa it was coming from the heart of god because the bible says that there is a scripture that is before me in the book of job that uh, the, uh job um job that three and verse 29 the bible says behold god works all things twice in fact three times with a man hallelujah to bring back his soul from the pit that he may be enlightened with the light of life so anything god wants to accomplish he will accomplish that with a man he's going to use a man so it, but the victory is god's 
Hallelujah. The, the victory is a, a, a victory belongs to God. Nobody, no family is entitled to that. Even those who fought in the fallen and all of you, nobody is entitled to victory or to glory. The glory belongs to God. Hallelujah. So uh, this one has caused a lot of injustices in Africa as, as a continent, but the earth and the fullness therein belongs to God. We all must come to that knowledge that the earth and the fullness therein belongs to God. This has caused much increase in poverty in the continent because of the selfishness and compromise. There has, there has been a lot of selfishness and compromise because of that Asian injustice. So the, the enemy of Africa, you know, I had, I've been hearing this sentence for the past, I don't know how many days, that the enemy of Africa is Africans themselves. The enemy of Africa is Africans themselves. These are the people who have been compromised. Others have been, you know, they become very selfish. They just think about themselves, you know. They don't think about other Africans. So our enemies are our own people. Actually, the Bible is very clear. You know, in the book of Micah, your enemies are the people of your own house. So that is it. Africa, nobody is fighting us. Nobody can fight Africa. We are our own enemies. Amen. We are our own enemies. And uh, the Lord spoke and said, because of that, we must know that the healing of Africa again is in Africans. The healing of our continent. What we need to see, our, our continent going forward. What the victory we need to see. You know that the, the growth we need to see in our continent is healed. I mean, uh, is hidden in us by uh, it has been invested in us by God. Amen. So anything we want to see, if we want to see our continent go forth, then that. That, that 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 thing is in us it is in us nobody is going to come and do that actually we have so many enemies around our life so it is our own it is our own deal it is our own mission it is our own vision and we have god who is able to enable us to accomplish that because we belong to him amen so now the lord is saying his heart the, the heart of god almighty is now outstretched i love what the bible says in the book of isaiah 14 when the heart of god has been outstretched nobody can turn it back so in this particular moment the heart of the lord has been outstretched to usher the corner the continent of africa to that which god preordained so the heart of god in every country that is connected to the continent continent of africa the heart of god is already outstretched so that god can perform his will thank you holy spirit i hear the spirit of god says so that he, god can perform his will in the continent or god can do that which he preordained from the beginning beginning hallelujah so some of these personalities and families have become strongholds you know some of the people who think they are entitled uh, to some favors or they're entitled to some i don't know to some to some parts of the of, of the nations because of, of maybe whatever their forefathers did my god now listen to this now, some, some of these people have become strongholds. They have become disparities. You know, they, they, they have become evil voices. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hear the Spirit of God say they have become evil voices. They have become, uh, you know, evil voices to molest and, and to intimidate and to hurt. You know, they're they, 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 they going forward of, 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 of the development uh, of the continent of Africa. So, and, and the Lord spoke and said, this particular moment, he is bringing down or he's creating thank you Holy Spirit for reminding me he's clearing from his way because it is his season to, to, to bring to pass that which he put in for the continent of Africa God is now saying he's clearing from his way those kind of principalities, those kind of strongholds it is God who is clearing from his way in the name of Jesus because the Lord is saying it is a new day now God has shifted or changed the season, God has shifted there are people who have gathered the wealth my God through injustices, through compromise, through intimidation, because they have the influence. My God, but the Lord is saying, now that season has shifted. It has changed. Hallelujah. Now it is time that God serves his justice. It is his justice in the, in the nations of Africa. God is not going to serve his justice in the continent of Africa. And this uh, and uh, this is because justice has been so compromised in the continent. Hallelujah. My God, even in court corridors in Africa, my Jehovah, oh my God, you can buy your freedom. It has been so compromised. As long as you have money, then you can have it all. You can have your way. Now, this thing, I'm not talking about every time, but we have, we, we, we have had that. And many people have really suffered. 
Oh my God, because some, some even people who are rotting in cells, my God, because they did not have money to break their way out in, 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 in that particular country. But if they had money, by Jehovah, they wouldn't have been there. So the, the, the justice has really been compromised. Amen. So God is saying he is, he is going to, he has now come to serve his justice. Hallelujah. Particularly because of the poor, the needy, the widows and the orphans in any country in Africa. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So God is saying he's clearing his way by removing all those strongholds. It is God who is removing them and principalities from his way for his own purposes. It, that is it. The Bible says God caused the earth from the beginning and his counsel, his purposes will start or prevail. Hallelujah. So that's where we are right now. Now we are just preparing you as voices of God because you are going to see, you have not seen yet. Some of these things are already happening in some nations. You have not seen yet. Let, let me go read through what the Lord has said. Amen. So, uh, his way, God is clearing so that his uh, his way, so that his purposes may prevail. There will be much exit. There will be much exit. And when I talk about exit, and some of these things are going to be so physical. People will will will, will, uh, will just be removed by God from the from 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 the earth. There will be much exit. Hallelujah of some ancient names. Hallelujah. Some family ancient names. My God. Hallelujah. God is going to clear any stronghold, any principality, whether it is covered in a name or in a personality. God is going to clear that because it is time. Actually, the Lord has said, as God finished with the Pharaoh, you know, when it was time to deliver the children of Israel, Pharaoh, you know, struggled with God. And the Bible says it's God who had had in his heart. God has been giving uh, some, some of these people you know uh, opportunity to repent and then uh, you know to, to 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 turn to his ways and to ask god what do we do even with the, with the world we have illegally acquired in our continent but some people don't want to hear they just want to to, to harass and and, and uh, you know other other people who don't look as if they they deserve so we have people who who own who own the, the continent others don't own but we are there as all of us as as as, as, as africans so in whichever nation you come from you are entitled because you are born in, you are born in that country and you are a citizen of that country so any privilege that is supposed to be enjoyed it is supposed to be equally enjoyed hallelujah because we all we are all africans by the grace of god and, and, and uh, oh my god thank you let me say this let me say this as i continue because i'm hearing that drops in my spirit that there's going to be such a unity god is going to unite africa god is going to unite africa Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, I'm hearing that in the spirit. God is going to unite Africa, and I'm seeing some 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 uh, some agreement of some business deals uh, or from all the head of states in Africa. And I'm, I'm, and I'm seeing my Jehovah. Oh my God, I'm seeing so many things that are going to bring Africa together by the grace of God. We, oh my God, I'm seeing manufacturing companies, even car companies. My God, I, I'm seeing Jehovah God wisdom that God is going to drop in this continent that that, that has never been before. That people will begin now buying this we have gold we have minerals we have all those things that my job we are going to have thank you holy spirit here the spirit of god say we are going to have manufacturing farms manufacturing some farms because we have what it takes as africans we have what it takes to do all those things by the grace of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so just as it was during the birth of jesus christ hello do uh, try to misbehave but I know God uh, caused a way of escape for his son. And when God had uh, done away with the heart, then Jesus went back. Oh, my, the, the parents of Jesus were told to go back because God had already de dealt away uh, 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 with the heart. So that is exactly what God is about to do now. Now, it is God's divine massive operation to fix his order and agenda in the continent. So even the physical exit, we are going to see of some of these names God is calling strong strongholds and prosperity. It is God's own operation. It's a divine operation for God to fix his order and agenda in the continent in the name of Jesus. Now, now I want Africans to know that the end times move of God 
in the world is hidden by God in Africa and the healing of other continents is also in Africa so God is really um, I want to say this again the end time move of God is in Africa the, the the healing of other continents is in Africa so God is going to restructure so many things so that his purposes may prevail in this continent by his grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now Africa must be saved and Africa must be delivered and that time is now there has been much exchange of of, of, our, of our heritages uh, through bribes in many things but God is clearing that hallelujah sorry God is clearing that sorry I'm reading I'm flapping the pages because I'm reading from my book now and now i'm preparing the continent africa get set ready there shall be massive change of uh, of god that is actually that is why i have come on board today because for some days the lord has been speaking to me about change of god and some of the things god opens your eyes to see you trouble and you fear because my god when god is saying he's going to even physically remove some ancient names in the continent that have, have behaved like strongholds or principalities now africa get yourself ready because we shall see massive change of god in many places hallelujah yeah. This is where uh, some people who break their way to become CEOs in some companies and it was ordained for somebody else. My God, God is going to remove them. My God, witchcraft and sorcery we will not maintain people, even politicians in your offices, even if it is a head of state. And they acquired that through, through evil means. Now God is clearing that any form of injustice. God is clearing that because we cannot hide things from him. God is clearing all those things for the sake of of his name in the continent in the name of Jesus Christ so the Lord is saying there shall be massive change of God my God church of Jesus Christ in Africa prepare yourself prepare yourself my God you you have not cried some nations have not cried you're going to seek you to hear Christ because God knows the heart of man there are some people who are honored, the servants of God, and they are not true servants of God. They are, they, are, they are capturing the destinies of the children of God through strange fires, through strange spirits. Now God has come to serve justice. My God and the remnants of his people are going to be rescued from such kind of hearts. Hallelujah. Jesus is rescuing his people from such kind of places. And because this is an abomination there will be physical exit hallelujah you have not seen you have not had the cries in africa you are about to hear because god is bringing down the strongholds even those who are seated in, in the in the houses of god my god with big titles and big names god is bringing them down god my god there shall be tears and cry my god in the nations of africa as god is physically clearing from his way so many of these people and so many big names even in political arena i don't want to mention my god prepare yourself just prepare yourself hallelujah but god has given people opportunities to repent but people don't want to repent they have become very arrogant so this will affect so there will be change of god prepare yourself and when it came to change of God, first Shitty and Esther, God picked a girl who did not look like. Hallelujah. Mordecai, my Jehovah, replaced Haman, a, a man who was a dog keeper. My God, look at this. Now, Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego, they are replacing people who belong to Babylon. They are not Babylonians. That is, that is God for you. Look at Joseph becoming second in the command in Egypt, a boy who was a jailbird. That is God for you. Hallelujah. So the nobodies, the nobodies, people, people from poor families who are educated, they, they passed very well in the exams, but then they cannot get position because others are buying their ways out. No, God is, uh, has come to serve justices. Hallelujah. For his own glory in the name of Jesus. So even in political arena, even in big offices, high offices in our nations, just watch and see. And my God, God will use any formula. God will use any formula. That we have just read from the book of Job 20, uh, Job uh, 13, Job, Job 33. God will use a man, verse 29. God will use, he will work all things with a man. He will accomplish all things with a man. So any man can be used to do anything. Hallelujah, by God. And all things are working out for good. Romans chapter 8. Amen. So, church, this is going to be affected in, in all areas. Church, prepare yourself. 
God has not brought down some big names yet. You are about to see. So in your country, prepare yourself. Families, we are going to see these, those who have oppressed others. We have nations, prepare Africa, prepare yourself. Amen. Position of influence. The people God has given positions of influence and are leading others to ungodliness. Uh, uh, they, are, they have been oppressive. They have been very proud and very arrogant. Not, none of us is irreplaceable. Hallelujah. Time is now. Amen. So, now, those people who have refused to raise others, particularly in the church, you don't want to hand over the mantle, you don't want to raise Timothys, you think you are the owner. My church, hallelujah, you don't know, own nothing. No, the owner of the church has now come. His heart is outstretched. Hallelujah. Oh my, my God, you know, I was, I, I was seeing the spirit, how some people fall and they know the ministries cannot continue because even the people left on the ground that begin fighting for material things. The cars, I could even see people fighting for tires of cars. Now that is it, because anything that is not founded on God right now and covered in God in Africa, my God, it is standing on a very shaky ground. Amen? So, uh, those people refuse to hand over the mantles, and God spoke to you, you don't want to hand over the mantle, you, you don't want to raise others, you don't want, you know, uh, you know listen, even if Elijah refused to anoint Elisha, you know, to hand over the mantle, uh, God had already finished, it was a close chapter. Hallelujah. That is it. Even if John the Baptist refused to, to baptize Jesus, it was already a done deal. Amen. So God is transforming. Uh, God is transferring the mantles by himself to a new generation. It's a new day. God is transferring these mantles and whatever needs to be transferred. Hallelujah. He's serving his justice. So he's transferring by his own power to the new that is not compromised, to the new that is clean. Esther was a virgin. Look at this Joseph. New no sin. Hallelujah. That is it. Amen. That is it. New, a very new breed. Amen. That is it. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord has been talking about virgin laborers for his namesake. Amen. People who have not been compromised and people who have not been um, uh, messed up by, by the corruption of this world. So, those who have been using their position uh, to hurt others under their commands, you know, and even to, 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 to command others because they are in position and they are in command, you know, to accomplish their evil agenda. God kill this. Go, go do this. Now, go still here. Go do this. Bribe here. Now, and because, uh, and the juniors cannot feel to do this because the person commanding is, uh, is the authority. No, the, God is clearing that. God will not spare them either. It is going to be such a massive divine operation that will shake the continent than ever before. Hallelujah. So prepare yourself. It could be my nation, Kenya. Prepare yourself for change of God. Change of God is a word in the atmosphere. Change of God. And it is God at work for his own glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So when you hear so and so has let or has uh, been promoted to glory, before you cry, ask God, are you in this? Uh, are you in it? And what are you doing, Father? What is the message? We should not be asking, God, what is the message? So that now we are able to start and be on the side of God for his own glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, Satan, Satan has been targeting some nations in Africa, already some seven nations in Africa, that the church in the continent must seriously pray for. Because when the devil has been able to penetrate in these nations, then he knows you no, know, when he has been able to uh, destabilize or mess up with the stability of some of these nations, he knows now he has gotten hold of, 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 of Africa. So let us seal and guard Jesus to the nation of Nigeria. Let the church arise and guard Jesus to the nation of South Africa. Let us guard the nation of Kenya. Let us guard the nation of Ghana. Let us guard the nation of Uganda. Ugandans, prepare yourself. I've been telling Ugandans, prepare yourself. God is uh, God has already come. Give it a few days. We shall see it as breaking news all over in the world. DRC Congo, prepare. now let us guard this nation. Liberia, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Uganda, DRC Congo, Liberia. Let us guard Jesus these nations in the name of Jesus. Now, but God has risen and his enemies must be scattered. We shall see uh, new faces 
um, uh, new faces, oh my God, new names, uh, etc. being positioned by God in positions and places of influence, no matter how much those who God has rejected try to, to push for their ways, this time it cannot, it, it, it cannot, uh, it, it will fail because God has not taken over the continent of Africa by his own grace, in, by his own grace in the name of Jesus. So people tried witchcraft, they bribed them and they, they, they know they were positioned but this time around all those things are, are, are already rejected. Not, none of those things will, will stand in the way of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There will be no peace for the wicked in the continent of Africa particularly those who have oppressed the poor, the needy, the orphans. Hallelujah. There will be no peace for the wicked. It is God's massive clearance operation at work and um, it is God at work. I want the continent to know it is God at work. Hallelujah. And I want to prepare the intercessors and the people who are seeking God day and night because of the continent. Let me tell you the truth. Unless God uh, dealt uh, with the fellow, nobody was able to do that. There's a position for us and a place for God. Hallelujah. I know the Bible says we are courageous with him. And even this time I know we have prayed, we have cried for our nations, we have cried for our continent, but some names and some people think you know, they, they, they can just do whatever they want to do and they, they can just remote control the continent the way they want. Now that this time is over. That time is over. Intercessors and the and the, the people who love God, the true God in the continent, bless yourself for the other part of the I mean for the other side of the coin because we are going to enjoy the faithfulness of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So God is saying it is my massive clearance operation and it is me at work. To be on the safe side, I'm requesting everybody who is going to hear this word to be on the safe side. Make peace with God. Hallelujah. Make peace with God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to hear more cries. More cries is about to be heard in the in different parts of the continent of Africa. More cries. And I want us to go to the word of God in the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 15 and verse 16. The Bible says, that says the Lord, a voice was heard in Rama. A voice will be heard in different parts of the continent of Africa, in the cities, particularly in the capital cities. Oh my God, because God is about to touch the, the, the whoever is who's in some of these big towns in our nations. Hallelujah. Now, Rama, lamenting and bitter weeping, there will be a cry, a voice of, uh, of, 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 will be heard of lamentation and bitter weeping, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted for her, for her, for her children because they are no more. That is what we are about to see. I've been hearing this word for the past two days. Hallelujah. My God, it, it is going to be so bitter in some of these big names because they thought they were they, they, they were honored forever. So when they were they are pressing the poor and when they, they, are, they, they, are, they are doing the evil things they are doing, they think they have life forever. Now the God who is a giver of life has come to shake the unshakables and the foundations that are, 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 are not of him that have been oppressing so many families and so many lives in the continent of Africa in the name of Jesus. So we are going to hear a lot of the voice of a lot of cries. I wrote in a you know in a Roman language you understand the sentence for yourself. No, we shall hear more cries is about to be heard in different parts of the continent of Africa. Hallelujah. As God is clearing this is going to cause a lot of bitterness. My God it is going to cause it is going to be a lamentation and bitter weeping hallelujah but let me tell you the truth it is god that work for his own glory in the name of jesus in the conclusion you'll be learning battles you'll be learning battles in some nations in africa prepare yourself from now we said these things before and we are saying them now. There's going to be a lot of unrest in some nations, a lot of uh, running battles, because the citizens will say no. They, 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 they cannot fit it fit in it anymore and now they'll be uh, they'll be going head on they'll be head on correction they'll be head on correction with the authorities of the day hallelujah but in the midst of that particularly in my nation of kenya in uh, after some time my god there'll, there'll be calmness there'll be rest because god will have effected his, his agenda Hallelujah. I, I said God will use any formula. He has many formulas. And God will work with men. He'll accomplish the agenda with the men. Hallelujah. So God can use anything. My God, hallelujah. God caused men to sell their own brother Joseph. And it was for his good. 
the Shuma, the, the, the Shuma right, Shuma, Shuma right. <laughs> Hallelujah. The, those caravan boys, they, 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 they bought him as a slave. Amen. And he was bought by Fort Potiphar. My God, he became a slave there. He was bought as a, as a slave. At another time, God, he finds himself in the cells again. He finds a butler and a baker. My God, that is God for you. God can use any formula even using the hearts of men. Amen. So prepare yourself. We shall see more than in battles. But in some of these nations, I've read their names. We are going to see some of these learning battles. As uh, the ordinary citizens say no, as they try to push their agenda forward. And, but in all of these things, even um, what is currently happening in South Africa, in all this, at the end of this all, the Bible says, and we know all things work out for good. Hallelujah. I'm telling you now, the conspiracy, every conspiracy of the enemy is being turned to foolishness. Every conspiracy particularly from higher positions. You know, I could see something at night very, before morning hours of today, I was seeing something, I was seeing, you know, like, you know, the, 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 the um, uh, these people who watch over elections in our nations in Africa, I could see them being forced, you know, the, 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 the telling officers, I could see them being called and being forced, and, no, and they were being threatened, hallelujah, know what you're going to do, so that you can give us this for, 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 for governor, for, for whatever they call them in your nation, you know, but let me tell you the truth, God says, now this time it cannot work, it will not work, time is up, Time is up. It has been before, but this time it can't work. And particularly from the month of June, I mean July 2021, that time is over. That chapter is long closed in the name of. And anybody who is going to try to start by the by the way of God, uh, ask Pharaoh. I uh, ask uh, ask Herod how God deals with them. Ask Judas how how it happens. Hallelujah. Ask you know. Ask some of these people. Ask uh, ask uh, Ananias and Sapphira. Ask them. <laughs> So there will be some running battles in some nations, and, but after some time, God will bring peace and calmness. Hallelujah. So change of God, change of God. It is an operation of God. Those CEOs, those managers, those um, uh, bishops entitled men, my God, those presidents, those uh, senators, those governors, those uh, members of parliament, my God, who have been given positions of influence by God, but they think they can maneuver their way and do evil. My God, time is up. It is the heart of God that is already outstretched to clear his way in the continent for his own glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any principality and stronghold, they cannot stand on the way of God this particular moment in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So it is not going to be easy for people uh, to agree because now people who say they are tired, it will not be easy for ordinary people to agree. Uh, to agree, but listen to this: God is going to soften the hearts of people because it is Him in operation. So all what is you are about to see from this month of July, just know it is God at work. You may not see the good of it, but within very few days. Actually, if it happens in your country, give it, give it a period of three months. There will be calmness. Things will be settled because it is God at work. Hallelujah. Because it is God at work. And we are going to see the new changes. Uh, and uh, the new changes, uh, they are going to take us the direction that God preordained according to his agenda for every nation in Africa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, God will use any formula. In conclusion, God will use any formula. He has you his own formulas. And some may cause pain. Some may cause pain. That's what we are seeing in the book of Jeremiah. Uh, Rachel did not want, she, she could not even be comforted. Hallelujah. They will cause pain. Some of these formulas God will use, they are going to cause pain, but it is God at work. Hallelujah. He is God when He's doing good and when evil is being done. Uh, I mean, uh, when evil is being affected. He is still God. He does not change. Hallelujah. He is God. He is God. Amen. So let us love the Lord. Let us love the Lord. And let us let us fear him and let us if you can you can in your own time uh, read Jeremiah that one just all of it just read, read all of it just read all of it and put your nation there put uh, your, your, your life and the church in your nation there and let us flow by the grace of God and let us pursue the willingness of God in our season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
change of God, change of God, change of God. Hallelujah. So, uh, <laughs> oh my God, when you wake up and you see it breaking news, so and so, a big name, whether in church or in the government, I slept and never woke up. Uh, God will use every man uh, to effect his agenda. Hallelujah. And uh, whether in a positive way or in a negative way, God will use a man. Hallelujah. Well, it may look positive to you or negative to you, but uh, that is God for you. Hallelujah. So may the Lord help us. May, may the Lord uh, help you to make peace with him from whichever nation. And don't be fouled. Uh, don't be fouled. Don't be fouled as a family, as a person, as an individual. Don't be fouled being part or being agreement. Hey, uh, now listen to this. When Cor and Davan sinned, you know, when they lose against Moses and, Moses and opposed him, imagine they caused their own children and their wives die. Hallelujah. That is God for you. Oh my God, that is God for you. God was not even merciful about, uh, you know, uh, he was not merciful about Safira. Yet it's a head who, you know, who led the way. Hallelujah. That is it. That is God for you. He's still merciful. He is still God. But he is hard now in Africa. is outstretched to deal with principalities and strongholds. Because ordinary people have not been able to do that. Women who are hiding on the mountains, praying for their nations. People who are sleeping on the floor, interceding for their nations. They have not been able to physically handle these matters. Now God has come to give them a backup and to position Africa in the continent of the, of the world in her rightful position because it is time. I want to finish by what I'm hearing invited in the spirit that the end time move of God that is ushering in the coming of Jesus Christ it is invested by God or hidden by God in Africa and the healing of other continents is in Africa in these end times. Hallelujah. So there's a shift and for this shift now to become a reality some things must be done by God himself, by his own sovereignty, because he is God. Hallelujah. So somebody was asking me, I even announced this on, on the microphone, somebody was asking, Mama, so now what, what happens about now the change of God? Now people will run up and down, and others will fight, and blah, blah, we shall stay in our houses for some few days, and then we shall be settled, because it's God. Do you think it was easy for Pharaoh when his choicest uh, army was destroyed by God and the Red Sea. Do you think it was easy for, for that country? That is it. Now, God is God. God is God. God is God. Hallelujah. God is God. God is God. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying for my nation, Kenya. Spirit of God is all over me here where I'm seated. I'm praying for my nation, Kenya. It is not business as usual. I don't want to say more, but you're going to see some of the things we have been posting online. We have been saying them. It's not business as usual. It's not business as usual. Nobody can buy anything unless it is ordained of God now. Nobody can force their way unless it is ordained of God now. Nothing will happen in Kenya. Even as we are geared towards our, our, our general election, nothing. And God will clear his way. God will clear his way. So I'm requesting all of us, let us remain in our position, particularly the church in the nation. Let us remain in our position and we are going to see and to enjoy the deliverance of God in Jesus' name. You know, God does not need our help. He is God all by himself. Hallelujah. So change of God in companies, in churches, in nations. And God is touching even the highest offices in the continent of Africa in the name of Jesus that is God for you so I, I as a prophet in the continent one of the prophets I pray that we shall all make peace with God and turn to God because he's a father he is able to forgive when we we, we repent genuinely uh, because we cannot cover up to him every a, a, any other time the time is up you cannot hide anymore amen God bless you.